I'll go over a couple of other products too that Herb Springer is making right now uh, with their collars. Um, one is I think useful if an owner is struggling, right? They're they're struggling with the. They still think that this is barbaric, and you know the dog's going to get injured, which your dog won't get injured. Um, it does. You know I've been using pinches and prongs, the most intense ones, for years, and I've, I've just never caused an in injury. Keep, if you keep it on the trachea all the time, over time, it's going to cause tracheal problems. But that's different. It's not like going to cut your dog, but some people just have a hard time with this. So they have a softer version. Okay, it's the same thing, neck tech, but they don't have, it's not a pinch. These are just flat. Okay. Now, I just started using this. Abby, and I don't know how it's going to go yet, but I, I think that it's something for people to consider. Um, if this is scary to them, I think that people should just really work on getting past whatever hang ups they have about corrections. Um, and don't look at it through human eyes, you know, like we see some people see the Inquisition. When they look at this and that's it, they can't get past it, but you know, you're thinking like a person, not like a dog. You know, we don't go around biting each other in the neck like they do. We don't do that to our kids. Um, but they're a separate species. So I think that's a good place to start, but if people have a hard time with it, this is an alternative, okay? Um, it's still steel, so I, you know, it's probably going to give a somewhat decent correction. But uh, I, I think you're better off because, you know, with a pinch, you don't have to give full correction. Uh, remember, a pinch collar is like power steering on a car. So you can just kind of pump the leash a little bit, just give little cheap baby corrections. And a lot of times that's enough, um, especially if you have skilled handling, if you're a skilled handler. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, but better than that, I think, is, are the martingales that they're making. Uh, which I think these are really actually phenomenal. Now, I'm not a huge fan of martingales um, because I do think that they put a fair amount of pressure on the trachea. Um, so I kind of stay away from, but again, with trained dogs or dogs that are a little bit softer in terms of physical sensitivity, these are not bad callers at all. Okay, so steel is always going to be a little bit more intense than nylon or plastic, like with a star mark. So this would be probably the next step up from uh, a star mark in terms of the intensity of it. And it just gives it gives a pinch at the top of the neck. You want this O-ring at the top of their neck all the time. And uh, I think they're really nice. You know, I'll use it with like Butchie a little bit. You know, Butchie doesn't need much at all, really. Um, they're easier to use than slip chains, too. So it's harder for people to mess a, um, a martingale up. So I like that about them. And aesthetically, you know, they look nice. They make these in gold. Nico has a gold one. Uh, they're tough to hunt down, but if you Google it, you can find it. I think lovemydog.com, L-U-V, is where I got it from. Uh, but they usually come in black. The silver one's the, the ugliest one, but the black ones look really nice. And it, they, it actually works really well with Mio. So the um, steel martingales that Herm Springer is making, I think these are actually really excellent. Um, and this, we'll have to, I'll have to wait and see. I just wanted to put it out. I can't really review it at this point because I haven't used it enough. My suspicion is that it's not going to be super effective. That it's probably for like a dog that barely needs corrections anymore. Um, but who knows, maybe it'll be great. And, and that'd be great for me when I've been dealing with, you know, owners who are reticent about applying corrections. So now we have another thing, you know, another tool in our kit that, that maybe we could use. So... Uh, this, this is, and this makes it, by the way, a great safety collar. Okay. I like using these. It, again, the problem with both these, they're prohibitive, prohibitively expensive. All the, the new stuff that they're coming out with, it costs a lot of money. I think this is like 50 bucks. This is around 50 or 60. This is like 60 or 70. I mean, you know, it costs a fair amount, but, uh, I, I actually think it's worth it. You know, I, I really like in, investing in proper equipment for all the dogs I train my own dogs um, especially if it really functions very very well I, you know and I'll get Nico gold ones pay a little extra for her because she's she's so pretty what about you you're, you're not that pretty 
No, he's not. All right, that's it.